choosing between hot and cold water which one is the best i feel hot <laughs> start over okay we want instant results which is very unrealistic kickstart your day reboot your body and we still need you in this world that i can attest to because i had evidence with my own body with okay here is what i think is the interesting part hello my beautiful friends welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is miss lani and i cannot contain the excitement i'm using a new ring light and a new phone to film and i'm just really excited if you follow me on tiktok or instagram you already know that i won a competition recently and yeah <laughs> let me know what you think about the quality compared to my previous videos and um let's see if we prefer my older phone or this one all right um without me wasting your time let's get into what the vid today's video is about so i've had a water hydration rather series and i talked about the importance of drinking water tips and tricks uh, that you can use to help yourself rather to trick yourself into drinking water and now i'm finally going to do the last thing that i uh, think is relevant choosing between hot and cold water which one is the best so by the end of this video you should have heard the pros and the cons of both hot water and cold water and you'll be able to decide what you like better and i will give my own verdict as well we will see according to what we find or what we learn which one is better for you all right all right let's get into let's it let's be real drinking cool water is the absolute best right like the taste is better than warm water in my opinion and i've never heard anybody that says otherwise all right but that's it please the reason why i'm sitting here in the first place is because i want you to be hydrated if you're gonna watch this video have some water next to you we're gonna drink water the entire okay video. now since we're talking about the realness of the great taste of cold water let's also talk about how cold water or rather cool water makes for a really great drink when you're working out because you're generating a lot of heat from your body and you just feel hot like even if you're not can't relate but <laughs> okay i'm kidding but if, if it did i want to say even if you're not again <laughs> But, you know, you feel really, really hot. So when you drink cool water, it cools you down. It brings, you know, your, your water, rather your temperature, your body temperature back down to just your general temperature instead of just feeling like you're just about to explode or you're like a volcano that's about to erupt. This is getting out of and hand. while we are talking about hotness and heat and things like that in some parts of the world if you're here just know i admire you so much i miss summer <laughs> but right now in some parts of the world it is hot and in general during summer it's really really hot so when the temperatures are high outside drinking cool water helps also calm your body temperature bring your body temperature to excuse me the normal temperature instead of you being sky high hot like what the temperature is outside we're still talking about heat right your body it's very important to keep your body temperature in its moderate state like where it's actually supposed to be you know how when you are having a fever and you it's worrying when your temperature is too high right so when you have a fever drinking cool or cold water can help your temperature calm down and go back to its moderate state okay this is something else that i actually mentioned on my initial video the importance of drinking water how drinking water in general right now i know that particularly drinking cool water it helps you when you're on the weight loss journey it helps boost your metabolism which would help you burn more calories apparently you can just by drinking enough water you can burn the the amount of calorie the equivalent amount of calories that you would burn if you walked a 15 minute walk according to what i read so if you're on the weight loss journey whatever you're doing 
or he had a life exercising and diets and all these things make sure that in whatever strategy you have drinking water is one of the big ones okay it's one of the biggest points because it's very important it's a natural way of helping you get yourself into the shape that you want i'm tackling the temperature of water at this point but generally just there are endless cons to drinking water so just because i named four here doesn't mean that's where it ends there's so much more so now we are going to discuss the cons of drinking cold water cold water has a not so favorable effect on our digestive system it apparently slows down the digestive process of digestion process whichever one is correct <laughs> my english is not my mother tongue okay so it slows it down and our bodies it said that our bodies need a good amount of warmth in order to digest the food in our bodies quicker so drinking cold water slows that down that's corn number one and before I, I go on to the next corn, this that i just talked about it causes issues like constipation and indigestion so maybe not ice cold water perhaps we could stay away from ice cold water and we could just drink cool water more i will have a solution towards the end just stay tuned number two drinking cold water in the morning when you wake up is not recommended because then the body your body my body our bodies <laughs> they take a long time to activate you will most probably feel groggy for longer or whatever the case is i only have two cons for drinking cold water i looked high and low for cons of drinking um cold and or cool water water is healthy okay it's not easy to find cons of drinking for drinking water because it's just like the one thing that's just really so according to everything that we've just found out we found out that the best time to drink water is when you need to bring your temperature back down if you're feeling too hot you then drink water to bring yourself down because you will explode and we still need you in this world okay we, we don't like hazards like that yeah could it be fever working out the weather yeah so do that now when it comes to warm water experts agree that drinking warm water has a lot more benefits than cold or cool water does so here is where warm water counteracts the cold water cons okay so the pro number one drinking warm water in the morning eh? Eh? <laughs> okay drinking warm water in the morning gets your digestive system started it increases blood flow to the intestines and it helps with indigestion and constipation suppose the previous day you would have preferred to drink a lot more cold water than warm water or no warm water at all if you decide to drink a glass of water for instance tomorrow your digestive sorry digestive system will have an easier time digesting things and doing whatever it is that it's supposed to do than usual how lovely is that pro number two of drinking warm water so warm water detoxifies your body yeah i i, I know what you're thinking now oh my god i've bought so many things that have uh, they've hurt me and blah i've had stomach cramps or whatever trying to de detoxify my body yeah i'm sorry love um you just had to drink warm water <laughs> yeah at least try it next time and see if it works for you just a regular consumption of warm water does this gradually you don't have to get something that's going to aggressively detoxify your body in one go whatever the case is as long as you make a habit of drinking warm water you will i think according to some stuff i read and even my grandma's theories you won't have to have a day where you have to designate a day you have to designate for detoxifying your body warm water is said to get rid of harmful toxins toxins in the body and it helps with skin problems it helps combat skin problems like acne i do not have acne but i do have like 
um, pimples and bumps on my skin i don't know if it's winter or, or what's going on because it's very unlike my skin right and i think that i should probably drink more warm water to try and help myself with that. Pro number three of drinking warm water. So warm water has been known to combat pains in the body such as menstrual pains, headaches, joint pains, muscle pains, and such. You see, I'm really, I'm on a mission. I'm saving you money, okay? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you could try it. You could try when you have a headache, drink a lot of warm water instead of reaching for those tablets that have aspirin and, and, and all those things that are toxic for you. And I can speak for other people because I do not have extreme menstrual pains. I do have sensations and sometimes I feel this and that and I can't walk proper, but I don't like roll on the bed and just not have positions in which I can be comfortable while you know I'm on my period and stuff like that but if you have mild menstrual pain or something like that maybe I guess someone like me then I can drink warm water to try and cool that down and with joint pains and and muscle pain lately I've been doing yoga and yo my body is complaining so warm water for that yeah so here's something you didn't know this you did not know Drinking warm water reduces tummy fat. Yeah, I know how skept skeptical you may be. And of course, I have not tested this out. But here's something you might want to listen to. I was listening to someone today and they were talking about how whatever it is that you try out, try it out for 90 days. If it doesn't work, sure, perhaps you can quit. But I feel like a lot of us in whatever, be it trying out, trying to grow on social media, trying a cream, a oil, or some food or tea that's supposed to help you with something, we want instant results, which is very unrealistic. So with something like water, just try it for 90 days and see the difference. I'm pretty sure you would see some difference. So apparently it, how this happens is it breaks down the fat into smaller mole molecules that are easier to burn. So like that, belly fat goes down. It's worth a try. Let's try it. You never know. Okay, here is what I think is the interesting part. The only con that I found when it comes to drinking warm water is the taste. There is nothing else. It's just the taste. And I think it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. My granny used to push me towards drinking warm water. Like, hey, warm water is good. Blah, it's good for your body. And I'm like, ah. She tells, she would tell me a lot of things are good for my body. Buy cabbage, buy vitamins, buy this, that, and that. And I just never really listened until winter 2021, I think. Yeah, yeah, winter 2021, I drank a lot of warm water and I actually did see some changes in my body. One thing you can do if you really cannot stand the taste is just have a cup of or a glass, whatever, of warm water in the morning when you wake up to get your digestive system started and to, you know, reboot your body. Then you can have cold or, or cool water for the rest of the day that is going to help you going to see a change in your digestive system the same day you will notice the difference if you do analyze things like that that i can attest to because i really that i can attest to because i had evidence with my own body with my sis what my sister has said her experience was my granny and her experience my son when i was trying to detoxify his body you know they'd be eating a lot of ice cream and, and stuff so yeah that is the only con the taste and i think you can get around it now somehow. we're getting to the best time to drink warm water so the best time to drink warm water i've said it it's early in the morning to kick start your day reboot your body to help with your digestive system it's also said to help with blood flow okay so your blood to flow properly and whatever however that works the warm drinking warm water helps make that easier and better for your body to do speaking of blood flow it actually apparently also 
boosts overall circulation of your blood in your body okay all right so as a conclusion to be fair i don't think that it's better to drink warm water or to drink cold water you just find what you think is best for you i feel like because water has a lot of pros you would feel obligated to drink it and maybe you don't enjoy it or whatever but like i said if you drink one cup of warm water in the morning you're still doing your body a favor and then you drink cold water you're still doing your body a favor and excuse me you don't get to feel bad or whatever i know what it's like to 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 have to that's why we have to trick ourselves into drinking water that's where my previous video comes in yes that is it that uh that is the video i hope that helped you gain some insights when it comes to what is better when it comes to drinking warm or cold water or rather what you would like to do or whatever really i just want you to be hydrated because you know it's really really important it's important for many many reasons but you already know this so i'm not just i'm not going to drag on about it if you enjoyed this video or you learned something or you got some insight or whatever the case is please hit that like button if you're new and you haven't subscribed please subscribe there is gonna be more i'm gonna get into more self-development topics outside of drinking water i thought drinking water is basic but then there is a lot that we don't know about it so i thought let me talk about it before i get into other things i think i'm going to be getting into productivity soon and stuff like that so stay tuned for that subscribe for that i will be happy to see you in my next video bye follow me on instagram okay bye